Hello everyone. Here we are going to continue with exercise 7.1 of the chapter percentage. Now let's start with the question. Now question number 13 states, Mr. Khanna spends 83% of his salary and saves 1,870. We have to find the monthly salary of Mr. Khanna. Let monthly salary be X and amount spent equals to 83% of X and amount saved equals to 1,870. Therefore, X minus 83% of X equals to 1870. Now we can solve this and this can be written as X minus 83 upon 100 X equals to 1870. Now we are going to take LCM over here and on taking LCM we will be having 100 over here and this will be 100 X minus 83 X equals to 1870. Now on solving this, we will be having 100 minus 83 that is 17x upon 100 equals to 1870. Now to get the value of x, we are going to make a transpose. This will be 1870 into 100 upon 70. Now 17, 11 are 187 and this 0 will be complete. Therefore, x equals to 1, 1, 0, 0 and 0. So, monthly salary equals to 11,000 as answer. Now we will be doing question number 14. And here in question number 14, we are having in a school, 38% of the students are girls. If the number of boys is 1,023, find the total strength of the school. Let total strength of the school be x. Number of girls equals to 38% of the x. And the number of boys has been given as 1, 0, 2, 3. Therefore, x minus this will be equal to this one. x minus 38% of x equals to 1, 0, 2, 3. Now we are going to solve this one. This will be x minus 38 upon 100 x equals to 1, 0, 2, 3. Now we will be taking LCM as 100. So 100 x minus 38 x equals to 1, 0, 2, 3. Now 100 minus 38 this will be 62 x upon 100 equals to 1, 0, 2, 3. Now we are going to make a transpose x equals to 1, 0, 2, 3 into 100 upon 62. Now we can cancel 62 by 2 this will become 31 and here we will be getting 50. Now 31, 33 times. So x equals to 33 into 50. So this will be 1650. So total strength of the score is 1650. Now we'll move to question number 50. Here, the price of an article increased from rupees 960 to 1080. Find the percentage increase in the price. Here, original price is rupees 960 and the new price is 1080. Now the increase in price is 1080 minus 960 that is equals to rupees 120. So the percentage increase is 120 upon 960 into 100. Here we used to write the original price. Now 00, zero cancel out. 12, 1, 12, 8, sir. Oh, we can cancel this by 4. So 2 times and this will be 25. Now 25 upon 2 that is 12.5 percent as answer. Now let's see question number 16. Here in a straight contest the loser polled 42 percent of votes and lost by 14,400 votes. Find the total number of votes polled. If the total number of eligible voters was 1 lakh, find what percent of the voter did not vote. Now here we are talking about the state election. In this type of election, only two candidates are there. One is winning and the other one is losing. So here we have supposed the total number of votes polled to be X and the number of votes received by the losing candidate is 42% of X. That is equals to 42 upon 100 X. Now the number of votes received by the winning candidate will be X minus this one. Now we can take LCM over here and this will be equals to 100 and here 100 x minus 42 x that is equals to 58 x upon 
hundred. It has also been given that the difference between their votes is fourteen thousand and four hundred. So according to question five eight x upon hundred minus four two x upon hundred equals to fourteen thousand four hundred. Now we are going to solve this, and this will be equals to fifty-eight minus forty-two. That is one six x upon hundred equals to one four four zero zero. So x equals to one four four zero zero into hundred upon sixty. So sixteen nine zero one forty-four zero zero. Now this will be equals to nine zero zero and two more zero. That is ninety thousand. So, total number of votes polled equals to ninety thousand, and the number of voters are one lakh. Now, the number of people who hadn't vote equals to this minus this one, that is equals to ten thousand, and the percentage of the people who hadn't vote equals to number of people didn't vote upon total number of people into hundred. Now we are going to cancel it out, and on cancelling we get ten percent as answer. Now let's move to question number seventeen. Here, out of eight thousand candidates, sixty percent were boys. If eighty percent of the boys and the ninety percent of the girls passed the examination, find the candidate who failed. Here in the question, total number of candidates has been given as eight thousand, and the number of boys equals to sixty percent of eight thousand. That is equals to sixty upon hundred into eight thousand. Now we can cancel it. And this will be six into eight. That is four eight and two zeros. So we are having four thousand eight hundred boys, and the number of girls equals to eight thousand minus four eight zero and zero. That is thirty two hundred. Now the question says that eighty percent of the boys has passed. This means number of boys passed equals to eighty percent of four eight zero zero. This will be Eight upon hundred into four eight zero zero. We can cancel it out, and we will be left with eighty into forty eight. That is equals to three eight four zero. And the number of boys failed equals to four eight zero zero minus three eight four zero. That is equals to nine six zero. Now it's also been given that number of girls passes ninety percent of the total number of girls. So The number of girls passed equals to ninety percent of thirty-two. That is equals to ninety upon hundred into three two zero zero. We can cancel out this, and we'll be having nine into thirty-two. That is equals to two eight eight and one zero. So this was the number of girls passed, and the number of girls failed equals to three two zero zero minus two eight eight zero. Now the total number of students failed equals to three two zero plus nine six zero. That is equals to one two eight zero as answer. Now let's see question number eighteen here. On increasing the price of an article by sixteen percent, it becomes one thousand four hundred and seventy nine. What was its original price? So we have assumed the original price be x. The increase percentage is been given as sixteen percent, and the new price is one thousand four hundred and seventy nine. So according to question. X plus sixteen percent of X equals to one four seven nine. Now we are going to solve this. This will be X plus sixteen upon hundred into X equals to one four seven nine. Now we are going to take LCM. So here we will be having hundred. So hundred X plus sixteen X equals to one four seven nine. Now the sum of these two will be one one six X upon hundred. Equals to one four seven nine. Now we are going to solve for x, and this will be equals to one four seven nine into hundred upon one one six. So on solving this, we'll be getting one two seven five. So original price equals to rupees one two seven five. Now let's see question number nineteen. Here, Pratibha reduced her weight by fifteen percent. If now she weighs fifty nine point five kg, what was her earlier weight? Here we assumed her earlier weight be as x, 
Now decrease percentage is been given as 15% and the new weight is 59.5 kg. So according to question x minus 15% of x equals to 59.5. Now we are going to solve it. So x minus 15 upon 100 x equals to 59.5. Now we are going to take LCM here and it will be 100. So 100 x minus 15 x equals to 59.5. Now 100 minus 15 that is 85 x upon 100 equals to 59.5. Now we are going to solve for x and here it will be x equals to 59.5 into 100 upon 85. We are going to remove the decimal. We will be getting 10 over here. This is going to cancel it out. So x equals to 5950 upon 85 and this will be equals to 70. So x equals to 70. So her earlier weight equals to 70 kg as answer. That's all in this video. Thank you.